Okay, we're back again at OK Sips Labs and Studios. We took our panel from yesterday that we actually had a joist hanger on, and we actually were able to get the panel to fail. Right in here, it already did crack yesterday. After our last test with the 2x4, we wanted to see what happens if we put the 2x4 in the other direction so it can't really rock over like this one did. We don't have any glue in here. We just threw four screws in there mainly just to make sure they're sunk in good to the steel. And we just want to try to make our panel fail, not make the screws pull out. So we're going to go ahead and pop on this. And, and again, it had already this panel already had cracked yesterday from our prior test on the joist hanger. So we're going to try to do this again. I, I think I can actually see that wood moved a little bit right here already. Hopefully, here, I'm going to just grab a pencil right here. We're going to put a line right here on the line. Here and here, there's a line on the panel. And we'll see if, if uh, these pencil lines move off the panel lines, and that will tell me that this is traveling that way. We're at about 200 PSI right now, which again, we'll call it 200, but I think it's really 1.77 times 200 because of the diameter of our piston there. We're going to go ahead and keep going. Tell me when I get to 500, David. Passing 500. Passing 500. Uh, right now, he's holding right now. We're holding good at 500. This seems to be a much better setup because of the length of this. It doesn't allow the 2x4 to just rock down into the into the panel. So it's given us a more true representation. And again, if this were a cabinet screwed to the wall or a television, something like that, I don't think you're going to put uh, 500 pounds worth of coffee cups and dishes into a cabinet probably. And uh, you're certainly your, your TV doesn't weigh 500 pounds. So. And John, we have to keep in mind that this panel already failed yesterday. Exactly, David. So Thank you for it, reminding me. It is a this broken panel, panel, actually. It's already a broken panel, and we're retesting a broken panel. And again, with no adhesive, just with screws to just see what it can do. So we'll just go up a little bit more. Tell me where we are on this one, David. 800. 900. I'm going to try to get to 1,000. I don't hear any sign of anything happening. So this is a much better test of our panel. About 900. By putting it the lengthways like that. We're at 900 pounds already on a panel that broke yesterday. We've lifted it up a little bit underneath here. We can see now, again, we're starting to lift up a little bit. I, I can see where that's bowing. And again, remember, this is the one that we tested over 1,000 pounds with a joist hanger yesterday. And we just decided to retest it today just for kicks just uh, after we ended up with that last test. So we're going to go until it breaks. Let me know when I'm back up over 1,000. I can hear something happening now. Did we get over 1,000 or no? We are uh, 1,200 now. 1,200. Well, it's coming down. OK. Yeah, and right now we're starting to, we're buckling. What we're getting here is a buckling failure, where the skin is actually buckling in on itself, which is typical of how a composite panel is going to fail, because this side down here is in tension and this side is in compression. We're, we're twisting this panel this way, which is causing this buckling failure right here, um, right at the point of all that weight. And you can see, if we put a straight edge across there, you can see pretty plainly that uh, what the shape of the panel is there. We can see the... Uh, Here's where it cracked yesterday, and here's our buckling failure here, and everything's just twisting this two, this uh, piece of steel around in there. And right now we're on uh, pretty impressive that we're over a thousand pounds just with that one piece of two by four. I'm going to go ahead and put it again and see if we can do anything else. You can still see that buckling failure very very pronounced now, where we're pulling this right in with putting that under such tremendous amount of compression and tension. The, the fiberglass is in compression right here. It's in tension on this side. Absolutely can't fail on the bottom. It's going to fail there with a buckling failure, which is a very, very common. If we test this panel for flexural strength by putting weight straight down on here, we'll get a buckling failure on the top also. We wouldn't get one on the bottom. And you can see we're actually ripping apart and crushing the core on that. So that's a very good indication of the pretty amazing strength of our panel system here. Um, and that's going to do it for us. I, I think we've gone far enough on the panel. We don't really need to crush it any further. Thanks for tuning in.